I just had my 10x mentorship with Sharon Lecter. Hi, I'm Ria, and here are my 20 lessons learned on today's topic, Ghost Park. Lesson 1. Brandon and Buck look at big companies. They looked at $10 million company. They look at the assets and the shares. Social media was one of those assets. They have over 1.2 million followers, and they took Facebook and took Instagram, and they did their due diligence on those followers. Lesson two, Bach says they don't like vanity metric. When they do acquisition, the followers don't matter. What matters is the engagement. Those social platforms own the 1.2 million. You, the business owner, don't own the 1.2 million followers. So they know that if they acquire that 1.2 million as part of the acquisition, they know that the 1.2 million followers on this social media platforms, that the owner can change the algorithm and you can talk to any of them unless you pay these social media platforms to allow you access to your followers. Lesson two, they look at the engagement. Lesson three, so there's difference in metrics when you're building out that online presence. Remember the vanity metric. Lesson four, these are vanity, the follows, the likes. Lesson five, Box says that they like the conversion metric. We like to know how many of them comment and on the comment, how many of them drive to the database. Lesson six, so they look at the people, those social followings, and they found that many of those social followings were inactive. They saw that they were not engaged. When they look at geograph the geographical location, they saw that they were primarily 70% India, and that tells them it's called Ghost Park. Ghost Park, which means they bought fake followers. Lesson seven. So now the, the valuation of a 1 million, 1 billion business is not 1 billion. The sellers don't tell you immediately about the fake followers. They don't tell you about the no engagement. Lesson eight, these things lower the business evaluation and you use it as a leverage when it's time to go to the table. When they write that number, they bring that number down because the number is not real. That is fake. This has no value. This means nothing. And then that number drops in that evaluation. Lesson nine. The other thing to think about when we're thinking about assets from a digital standpoint is not just a conversion, but about database. Lesson 10. Buck and Brandon also looked at database. Example, this person they talked to last year with $10 million company, they ask, how many people are in your database? And they were told over 700,000 names. Over 700,000 names, numbers, emails, and addresses there are in that database. Buck said they looked at active open rates and they saw that it was less than 20% of that list was actively engaged. That showed them that the business was based on flow conversion, had a bad flow conversion and retention. They're not developing relationships because at the end of the day, really the job from a digital standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, is to drive revenue through relationships. Lesson 11. If you cannot build relationships, you cannot have trust. If you do not have trust, you don't get transactions. Lesson 12. So think about those assets. You can't fake those assets. You cannot just build a fake list by buying contacts. You can't just buy followers. Lesson 13. You need real relationships. Those are the assets that you collect. And those are current relationships that transact and create retention in the business. Lesson 14. It's nurturing those people. A lot of people use funnels, which Sharon calls the customer journey. Lesson 15. How are you going to create that relationship? Because when you sell something, 
that's a transaction. Lesson 16. Instead of selling, look at it as a service. Lesson 17. When you service people, you're creating a relationship and that relationship generates a lifetime of sales. Lesson 18. The lifetime of sales is where you truly build the valuation. Lesson 19. Why do they build the valuation? It's because those lifetime customers, they become your best marketing tool. They're your raving fans. They're the ones out there and they got their phones and take a picture and they're sharing it. Lesson 20. They are your raving fans and that's what you want to develop in your own company. Those raving fans which become your number one marketing viral tool. So those are my lessons learned. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can also download a free section of my book, Apartment Prescription, down in the link below. From 0 to 50 apartment units in 7 years. If I've done it, so can you. Take care and God bless.